All right guys, so uh, we're finishing up the stereo on the NSX right now, but I wanted to go away from the electronics real quick and show you something pretty cool. So we ended up picking up a uh, Group M intake for the car. The car is naturally aspirated and we thought the Group M intake would be a nice addition. So uh, we bought this little piece here. You can see it's all sitting here on the bench. So I was gonna show you how to install it really quick. I mean, this is about as easy as it gets, but just a quick cover, uh, a review actually to review. So we took the stock airbox off. The stock airbox is nothing more than Phillips screws. You know, you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you take the six screws off, take the cover off, then you remove the bottom piece. The bottom one is held in by three 10 millimeter bolts. You can see there's one there, there's one here, and this one. So once the bolts are all removed, oops, drop that one. So once the three screws are removed, you remove all this stuff. The Group M, it comes, like this, like what you see here, this is a Group M. They come with two brackets, and you know, when I was looking online, I couldn't find anything about it, but essentially you got a short bracket, we're gonna mount the short bracket on the left side, and we're gonna mount the long bracket as such on this side. The reason they do that is because that is gonna be, if we look in here, so the, the bolts are gonna attach over here, and it's gonna attach over here. These are the factory uh, intake bolts that you remove those 10 millimeters. So the right side and the left side. And then we're just gonna attach the intake back on with the same factory hose clamp. So that'll allow the uh, intake to bolt in and it won't get scratched. Here's the uh, intake one more time before we put it in. You can see the brackets. All right, so uh, they also supply some hardware, I should mention. So you got a long bolt and a short bolt, and you got the spacer. The spacer is going to go on the right-hand side, so we're going to do the left-hand side first. So take the short bolt, okay, and we're going to go up to the car here. The short bolt just essentially goes in on the left-hand side, so you can see where the hole is. In fact, this is where the original uh, original screw was. So we're going to put this bolt over here. I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed so I can show you. If not, I'm going to put the camera down. Okay, so there it goes. We're just going to hand tighten it right now so you can see the bolt that goes in like that so that aims the intake nicely and the other bolt is going to go on this side and this side is going to have a spacer as it goes in there you see it i'm going to put the camera down and put this bolt in we'll be right back all right so i put both bolts in so now you can see how it's all finished and how it looks um the uh the intake's pretty sturdy you got to have the two brackets so there's your first 10 millimeter this is the one without the spacer and then this one over here, you put the spacer under the bracket to give it a little bit of height. So that way it balances out. Finally, once those two bolts are in, we tighten this one, which is the uh, one that connects to the engine. And then you're done. That's pretty much the installation. So we'll fire it up and uh, listen to it, but it looks really nice. Um, you know, we read a lot of reviews and this thing said it picked up a lot of horsepower. So we're pretty anxious to give it a try with the rest of the car. The car, of course, is uh, pretty much 100% stock. It's naturally aspirated, running a GT 5.1 exhaust, and now we have the intake.
today you have a group M intake install with the GT 5.1 uh, that took probably a easy five minute install I think for the intake well worth it so uh, follow us as we finish up the rest of the car uh, we're gonna finish uh, carpeting up the sub box area and then pretty much the car is done let me walk around I'll show you what the sub box looks like There's a sub box. We're gonna build a trim panel that'll hide that box and then pretty much uh, this interior is completed. We have the uh, carbon door handles that we make. Uh, this one has the optional carbon on the handle as well as a pole handle. You got the full carbon power window trims, carbon fiber glove box, and we match the Alcantara on the inside to the seat. You can see, it looks real nice. Uh, pretty much the inside is done. This has got the Alpine ILX 650. So we're going to be anxious to take this thing out for a short test drive now, but thanks for watching guys. Pretty excited to get this project up and finished. All right, see you later. Bye.